So hi everyone, my name is Lisa and I'm from Sweden <clears throat> and I would like to talk to you about what happened um, for me uh, like over a month ago when um, uh, there was eight policemen and uh, two social service uh, that came and took my son away. He's three years old. Um, I'm sorry, it's painful to talk about. So, and this trend that it's going on, I hope um, that this can get out uh, because more people need to talk about it and more people need to know what is going on because the authorities abuse the powers uh, and it need to stop um, it's not okay what they are doing to parents and to the children it's so horrible <laughs> I try so many times to record this without crying but it's so hard so um, <clears throat> I don't know if I should go into details what happened but uh, uh, I was assaulted by the police. They said that I um, would, uh, um, what do you say, I engage uh, with them, but I didn't. Uh, I have a video of it when I was sitting on the couch and just filming them uh, in someone's home. And um, I was assaulted by the policewoman who took, uh, uh, she took uh, um, like her hand on me real hard and put me down on the couch over my three year old son. And then they took him away. Uh, like now I have seen him twice in 40 days and what the authorities are doing it's so horribly wrong it's not human uh, and they are like they think of the sons of the gods that uh, they have all the power uh, how they can treat people to be the slaves and every uh, but I'm sorry <laughs> but all the thing I can do is just obey uh, and <laughs> I still don't know what I have done wrong they accuse me of so many things uh, and they listen to uh, my ex-husband uh, and his girlfriend uh, and my ex-husband's sister but they don't know anything about me they just hate me so much so they don't even see what all of the hate for me ha end up with me uh, Losing my son. And I don't know if I can, uh, if I'm going to get him back. I don't know anything because they're not telling me anything. Uh, they just say, yeah, let's wait and see. 
so it's like I don't have any power at all about my life or my hum humanity. So I just want people to see um, what is going on and what is happening and I know I am not the only one um, I'm, I'm trying to do everything to get my son back but someone ha have to say it's enough we have to go together to say to the authorities that this is not okay and this needs to end I understand that social services have to exist because there are kids out there who really need help but my son didn't need it so ever since he was born he has been him and me uh, because his father doesn't want anything to do with him so I have loved him uh, from the very start uh, when he was uh, inside of me in my uh, belly so and we have been together for every day uh, almost uh, yeah like three three and a half half year um, and I've I don't know how to explain or what else to say but this torture should non parent go through And I just like pray every day that there will be a change in the society uh, towards the authorities that see um, through all the lies uh, what, what people uh, tells about me because I cannot do anything else and I, I, don't, I just want my son to come home like I can accept when I've done something wrong and take responsibilities for it when I don't know what I've done wrong and do you say like the way you are but I don't know how I can change because I do everything that I can be a, a good and, and decent human and try to show me show my son the same way um, yeah so thank you for listening um,